initiative is basically a collaboration between the Mayor of New Bedford, the Economic Development Council, and the Marion Institute, which is a nonprofit. Um, and the idea really is to use this infusion of stimulus funds to do mostly three things. Create good local jobs, save residents and business owners money uh, on their energy bills, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Okay, my name's Arnold Lopes. I work for Case U Build New Bedford. Basically today what we're doing is we're retrofitting a house. Little known fact is that buildings are actually responsible for about 40% of carbon emissions. So a lot of people think, oh, you know, cars, get cars off the road. But actually if we make our buildings more energy efficient, that is one of the best ways to reduce emissions. Yeah, I was amazed that I've been hearing green, 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 green. Right. And I've been following the technology, you know, and I'm saying, wow, I mean, not only is it benefiting the new homes, but the old ones that need this badly. The city, um, in collaboration with a bunch of nonprofit organizations like Youth Build, has launched what we're calling for now, at least the Community Retrofit Program. We had a whole crew of guys that, that were part of Youth Build, um, a couple of young kids that, that were involved in the course, and we had a 100% a, a success rate. Everybody passed, and everybody's qualified. So we do have some young adults that are already ready to break into the field, as well as, well as some, some older folks. You know, this house is an example of, of something that needed a lot of work, a lot of tightening up. Well, so is that one, 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 that one. And, you know, that's even in suburbia. So the demand is, is definitely going to be there. And, and the funding is going to come. The great thing is that there are a lot of rebate programs. So most homeowners should be able to access some program that makes the weatherization work either cheap or free. And then they will immediately start seeing savings. So you'll be saving money. It's like getting an extra job, actually. If you're saving 40% of your need, though, that's a lot of money. Our goal is to weatherize 5,000 homes in the city over the next three to five years, which would create 70 to 100 jobs, reduce costs for residents and small business owners by about $7 million a year, and reduce enormous amounts of carbon emissions. This is green building right now. This is, you know, it's not the sexy green building, the windmills and the, the fancy houses, but this is this is hardcore green building. This is part of the movement, you know, we need to make a change from a dirty, uh, pollution-based economy to a clean, green economy. It, it's a great thing. It's, it's great for the economy. It's great for the people and, and for, for people that are working in the industry. It's just, just another avenue to have a job. The people that are training to do this kind of work are going to make good money. Looking to build a better world, man, and doing this thing with, with weatherization, green jobs, you know, with sustainability. That's the movement. That's what we're feeling. That's what we know is part of the answer, and we're just doing it. I don't really consider this an environmental movement, I consider it a human movement. Um, it's really about building our structures of community um, and again breaking down those divides between us, um, overcoming barriers of misunderstanding and um, fear and uh, long histories of exclusion and racism and poverty um, and really building something.